Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Uh, today we are going to be looking at a pretty cool little low level unique uh, which is great for low level mercs and uh, that is known as the Blood Thief Brandy Stock. The reason why the Blood Thief Brandy Stock is so good for low level mercs is a combination of effects and uh, as we go over it I'm sure you'll see. So right off the bat we have 10 to 25 damage on this Brandy Stock uh, with a durability of 14 to 28 or sorry a 28 which is pretty low. It does have 50 dexterity requirement, 40 strength requirement, and level 17. Which, ironically, is about the right level for when you hit Act 2. So by the time you hit Act 2, you're usually between the levels of like 14 and 16. Uh, maybe 17 sometimes, but 17 is a little on the high end. But usually shortly after you get to uh, Act 2 and you complete things like Radiment and a couple other things, you're usually pretty close to 17. Um... And this particular weapon has a pretty nice a fast attack speed, although it doesn't have any increased. And it does have 50% uh, enhanced damage, uh, which does vary from 50 to 70. So it seems like my Blood Thief Brandy stock is a little bit on the low side, on the enhanced. Um, it can go as high as 11 to 28 damage if it has the higher increased attack, uh, enhanced damage. Uh, the lifesteal also varies from 8% to 12%. So we have a nice variable on the enhanced uh, damage. We have a nice variable on the lifesteal. Um, and then on top of that, we also have plus 35% chance of open wounds. So uh, open wounds is a damage based on character level, so it will scale with the character. It lasts for 8 seconds, and it also prevents regeneration, which is amazing, uh, because uh, regeneration is a pretty big issue, as those of you who have been watching my Necromancer solo cell found videos have uh, seen. Uh, we also have 10 strength, which is definitely pretty nice to have for a lower level character because it will help you put on some uh, other pieces of equipment. And it does also give 10% enhanced off-weapon ED. And it gives you a nice little bonus to life of 26, uh, which around level 17, when you put this on, is actually a pretty decent little chunk of life and can uh, certainly help you or your mercenary, uh, you know, survive. Uh, we also have the ethereal version, uh, which has, can be very good for a mercenary, at 15 to 37 damage, and uh, it has lower requirements of 40 dex and 30 strength. Now, the real beauty of the Blood Thief Brady stock is putting it on a mercenary, a low-level mercenary, because the lifesteal combined with the open wounds can very effectively keep them alive, as well as prevent regeneration on the monsters that you're trying to kill. And, uh, and that's really the most important thing with low-level mercs, is you just don't want them to die. Um, you don't necessarily need them to put out tons of damage. You just need them to not die. Uh, and uh, sometimes that is all you really are worried about. So having a Blood Thief Brandy stock at an early level can definitely be useful to uh, keep your mercenary from dying. Now, we can upgrade this. And uh, to upgrade this to the exceptional tier, uh, you're going to need a Rel Rune, a Soul Rune, and a Perfect Emerald. Uh, this is going to bring us from 10 to 25 damage. 50 dex, 40 strength, level 17, to the Blunt Thief Warfork, 24 to 60 damage, 95 dex, 80 strength, level 30. Um, not a bad upgrade, actually, and uh, it could actually still be useful for a little while into uh, Nightmare Difficulty if you were utilizing, say, an elemental damage build, uh, like, for instance, um, maybe like Charge Strike or a Lightning Strike on an Amazon. And uh, the Ethereal version upgrades very nicely from 15 to 37, 40 dex, 30 strength, level 17, to 36 to 90, 85 dex, 70 strength, level 30. And uh, the reason why this is such a sweet little weapon is just because it has a massive amount of lifesteal and open wounds, and the damage isn't too bad, and it will just keep your mercenary alive. Um, and that's, like I said before, that's really all you're really worried about. And you can pair this up with some other low-level unique items, like a Bone Flesh, which has even more lifesteal, and um, Open Wounds. And I'm not just speaking out of my buttocks when I say this. Um, I am talking from experience. I recently did a walk uh, from level 1 uh, with a whole bunch of other people, uh, basically going from level 1 all the way up to basically like it was like level 88 or level 89 that I stopped at. And um, I actually used an Ethereal Blood Thief Brandy stock um, from level 17 all the way up with a Bone Flesh. And my mercenary was like an unstoppable beast for a very long time. And then I upgraded the Blood Thief Brandy stock to the Warfork. And uh, he was still an unstoppable beast for a very long time until eventually I did upgrade him to a, uh, a better weapon. But um, 
Just a very nice find all around if you could find yourself an ethereal version of this for a low-level merc because he will just tank like a truck. Uh, we can also upgrade this another time, and unfortunately, due to the relatively low enhanced damage, I know that it's going to upgrade poorly, but uh, let's check it out anyway. So if we take a Paul Rune, a Lum Rune, and a Perfect Emerald and throw it in here, uh, we will upgrade from 24 to 60, 95 dex, 80 strength, level 30, to the Blood Thief Mancatcher, 63 to 138, 134 dex, 132 strength, level 67. So very poor upgrade to the upper tier. The Ethereal version can also be upgraded to the uh, Man Catcher. Uh, 36 to 90, 85 dex, 70 strength, level 30. To the 94 to 207 Man Catcher, 124 dex, 122 strength, level 67. So very good upgrade to Exceptional, very poor upgrade to the Elite tier. And uh, quite honestly, it's probably just better off left at level 17, unless you just happen to have that ethereal one that you want to help carry your mercenary further. Now, eventually you will find a better weapon than an ethereal blood thief brandy stock, or even the exceptional version. Um, and in that case, you're probably just going to move on. But do keep in mind that uh, I, I've been searching for a stupid ethereal blood thief brandy stock for a long time, and I swear I just like never find them. And that first time I found one, I was like, yes! Because I knew I was going to do a new character day, and, uh, and so I ran the new character day with it, and it was amazing. It was just absolutely an amazing low-tier merc weapon, like through and through. Uh, let's take a look and see where you could potentially find yourself one of these if you want to get your hands on one over on Silo's Pen and um, get an idea of the best monsters to kill. Uh, so Blood Thief, Bosses, Bosses, Bows. Gotta get them Bowses. Uh So we really want to find this ideally around level 17 when we really want it. Uh, and Mephisto, Diablo, and Bale are kind of off-limits on that. And they are the best, you know, monsters to farm for it if you want to get your hands on one, like the Twink. But uh, we want to get more hands on one to actually use. So we need something in Act 2. Uh, that's what we're looking for. So uh, let's sort by area real quick. And um, Talrosh's Tomb, Ancient Colossolus. Not a good farm, but an option. One in 2,252. And uh, it doesn't look like there's a lot of good options for Act 2. I'm, uh, I'm not seeing a whole lot of anything as far as Act 2 is concerned. Um, let's take a look at Uniques. Just a, just at a, at a guess here. So it looks like Talrosh's tomb. I'm saying a whole lot of nothing as far as like Act 2 goes, or Act 1. And it looks like primarily um, Talrosh's tomb seems to be the earliest that you can get their hands on this. Uh, so it does look like to me that um, your best bet as far as getting this like sort of like, like at an on-level kind of character like within Act 2 when you actually want to, you know, use it. Looks like your best bet is just to farm the Tombs of Talrasha. Um, there's a lot of monsters in the Tombs of Talrasha that could potentially get, drop this item. And, you know, if you're around this level anyway, you may be farming the Tombs of Talrasha, specifically for EXP to hit that level 24 breakpoint uh, where the EXP gets better. So, you know, you may find it in the tombs, you may not. If you find an ethereal one, it can definitely be useful to you for a little while until you get your character up to uh, a higher level and he's utilizing something better. Um, anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, even when you are stealing my blood. And um, as always, keep subscribed so you can keep watching.